Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie. I'm so excited about this new shore living line at Dollar Tree and I made nine DIYs and I can't wait to share them with you. Okay, let's get started. The first I am going to kind of make over this little home sign. Super cute. I love the color. The problem is, is the little um, sand dollar is on there crooked. So very carefully, I'm going to try to pop that off with some heat and a little putty knife. And I know it's probably going to rip. So once I get it kind of dismantled, I'm going to carefully like go in there and try to cut it so I can kind of reduce the amount of paper that is ripped there. Okay. So I could have just moved that up, but you know I'm gonna want to replace that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, spray some adhesive down to try to kind of just glue that paper down a little bit where it was rubbed. And we'll cover that up so you won't know any of that is there. And then I thought we could cover it with a sand dollar. So I'm gonna try, these are the little sand dollars with the Shore Living line as well at the Dollar Tree. And they're not real sand dollars, but they're pretty cute. And so this is kind of what it looks like on there. It's a little smaller than the wood one. So my options are to put the wood one back on there, or I do have some real sand dollars that I get on Amazon that just happen to be slightly larger. So I could put that one on there. I'm gonna choose to use one of my real sand dollars, but you could totally get away with using um, the sand dollars from the Dollar Tree. And I guess to, if you wanted to make it a little bigger, you could like use your Cricut or something and make an O underneath of it, or you could just have it be a little smaller. It's honestly fine because this one's actually smaller than the letters too. And I'm just gonna glue that down with hot glue. So we can spell out home with our sand dollar. And I will post a link below to the sand dollars that I get on Amazon in case you can't find the ones at the Dollar Tree. Now, I love the fact that this has like a raised wood frame, but it's a little too like orangey brown for me. So I thought we could make it look like um, driftwood. So I'm gonna mix like ivory acrylic with some antique wax by Waverly and it's gonna give me this really pretty driftwood color. And I'm using um, one of those chunky brushes from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna lightly go all over and distress this frame. What I want, I want it to still look like wood. So I want some of that orangey wood to show through, but not a lot. I want most of it to look like this driftwood color, but that way it'll still kind of look like wood. And look at the difference that that makes. I think that made a big difference in the appearance. It made it, the color is a lot more neutral. So that was just a very easy change to lighten up the frame of our little home sign. Now, this is a hanging sign and I want to use it as like a shelf sitter. So um, I need to replace or cover up those holes on the top. And so I'm gonna kind of make more of a like nautical handle. And so I'm using some of this white rope from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna tie off a piece, tie it off on both ends a little bit longer than the handle needs to be. And this was just a scrap piece I had, but this is that thinner white rope from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna kinda attach it to the front of the sign like that, not worrying about the holes, just covering them up. And that way it'll show like the little exposed knots and stuff there on the top. But first, I thought it needed a little bit more distressing. So I am using a chunky brush and some ivory acrylic and just very lightly distressing all over just to make it look a little more beachy and a little bit less like paper. Following that up with a baby wipe to take off any excess and I really, really love the finish that left. So we're ready to attach the little rope handle to the top and we're just gonna do that with hot glue. And I really like the vibe. I thought about just doing it kind of straight across the top, 
but I kind of did like the idea of it being like a little rope handle. And now we don't have to worry about the little holes in the top. But you could totally cover those with shells or whatever you have. Now I want to make it stand up. And so I'm going to use some of these giant Jenga blocks from Five Below. Love these things. But if you can't find them, use whatever you have. I'm going to attach those to the back of the sign with hot glue. I showed you the little wood cubes. Those might be heavy enough just, or you could use like some kind of a plate stand as well. And so when I'm gluing these on, I'm making sure not to put them all the way on the bottom of the sign because it needs to kind of tilt back slightly so that the sign will stand up properly. But that was the perfect amount of weight and our first DIY is done. Our little home sign makeover. We remade the frame, the handle, and the sand dollar, and I love it. What do you think? Okay, DIY number two. I got one of the Salty and Happy um, Seahorses from the Dollar Tree Shore Living. And the first thing we're gonna do is pop off this little um, galvanized metal starfish. Most of the ones in my store that had fallen off of anyway, seniors so might not even have it. I attempted to get the glue off, but it really wasn't coming off. So I'm like, eh, whatever. We're going to probably cover that up anyway, so it's going to be okay. The thing I didn't like, it is covered in glitter on the salty and the happy. For some reason, they felt the need to put glitter on there, and that just totally does not go with the vibe. I love the colors that they used on it, but just not the glitter. So I tried sanding it off, and that stuff was on there to stay. It was not going anywhere. So this is my second attempt <laughs> to calm down the glitter. I'm going over the whole thing with some matte Mod Podge. And it didn't really work. It was still like super, super sparkly glitter. <laughs> and so it's going to require a little bit more work to get that not so sparkly. Now, one thing is a lot of these signs, the paper is not lined up perfectly on the edges. Some of mine were really bad. Um, that I picked up and so I'm just going to use some of that paint that we mixed for the driftwood um, color and just kind of distress all over any of the edges where the paper didn't go all the way and just kind of all over and follow that up with a baby wipe to wipe off any excess and that's going to make it look a little bit more painted and less like paper as well. Okay, so to cover up where that galvanized starfish was, you could reattach that but I wanted to do a real starfish or I guess these aren't real starfish but they're really pretty and they look real these are the starfish from the shore living line at Dollar Tree you get three in a package and they are white and they are molded so we are going to attach that where the other starfish was to kind of cover up the glue that was there and there was a little outline of a starfish there as well and just gonna glue that on easy peasy. I had so much fun with these shore living items today. Oh my gosh, can you say like right up my alley? And they have so much more than they did last year. And I am just trying to clean up any extra hot glue I have on there. And we can move on with this DIY. I didn't really, wasn't really impressed with the hanger. I thought I could do something a little bit better. And so I'm gonna use some of that same white nautical rope and unwind it into a third and take one of those pieces and try to make a more substantial hanger. I tried to um, kind of thread it through the existing hole there. It was a little too wide. So I gave up and decided to try a different technique. So I'm just gonna loop it tie it in a knot, pulling both ends through like that. And it's gonna give me, you know, like a cute little nautical rope knot look. And I thought that would make a funner hanger. And it's gonna match that white starfish a little bit. So I'm just gonna trim off the excess rope there. And I'm not gonna worry about the hole. We're just gonna glue that to um, the top of it to cover it up. And this is a very lightweight sign, so it's not gonna need a very um, strong hanger on there anyway. 
but I still was not happy with the glitter on there. So my third and final attempt is a white Sharpie paint pen and basically just gonna trace the whole thing, salty and happy. And this worked, it covered up all of the glitter and all of the sparkle. If that's your thing, if you like the glitter, then by all means leave it, but this totally makes it go more with my vibe. And so thank goodness I found a way to cover up the glitter because it was not coming off. But guys, I'm so excited. My channel is getting really close to hitting 5,000 subscribers. So I thought we should do a 5,000 subscribers giveaway. So stick around to the end of this video to find out how to enter. I'm gonna be giving away a whole bunch of shore living items from Dollar Tree. You're not gonna wanna miss out. It's awesome. And that worked. I'm so happy, but my final step to kind of make everything, you know, kind of look flatter and um, more sealed is just to go over the whole seahorse with some Mod Podge. Probably should have done this before I attached the starfish, but this totally helped too because I've painted it, I've done all the different kinds of things to it, and this is just gonna make it look more like a finished project and here is the final reveal of the seahorse. I think it looks so pretty. I have it kind of hanging on a hook on the side of my shelves. Okay, our next DIY. I got this great little tray at Goodwill for, I think it was 50 cents because it was half price. And then I got this canvas from the Dollar Tree with the shore living items. And it's got these two cute little, oh, shore birds on there. I think they're like, what, sandpipers? And it's a little bit larger than the tray, which is gonna be perfect for my plans. Now, this little wood tray, super basic. It's basically the same color as the frame on the home sign from before. So I'm gonna do the same exact technique. I'm gonna mix ivory acrylic paint with that Antique Wax by Waverly using my little um, chunky brush from the Dollar Tree and we are gonna touch this up. Basically, gonna just do a really sloppy coat all over. That way I kind of want that brown wood to show through like we did with the frame before. So you can tell that it's wood, but that it's gonna look way more beachy and way more like driftwood. So I'm going over the inside and the outside of the tray. I'm not gonna worry about the bottom or the back. Um, or the inside, I guess. I'm gonna stand it up on its side so one side will be the front and one side will be the back. But we are going to be covering it with that canvas that we got at the Dollar Tree. So kind of just going over all of the surfaces. This would be pretty easy to make if you couldn't find anything. But anything that kind of in, is in this shape, you could probably do this too. Um, one of the signs like backwards, or any kind of tray that you have laying around that's gonna be smaller than the canvas. Now to get the canvas off, I'm just using a razor blade and I'm going along the sides. I don't wanna mess up the image, but again, I don't want to um, mess with the staples either. So then all I have to do is snip the four corners and pop this canvas off. I got a whole bunch of these canvas signs with the Shore Living line to do things exactly like this. The little frame is cool, so I will definitely save that for another DIY. And now all I have left to do is to measure. It was almost like an eight inch square. One side was a little bit shorter. And so basically I'm gonna try to cut it to size. I got a straight line at the top by kind of using uh, the crease that was already there. And then I'm just gonna kind of measure, put a couple like little reference marks so I know where my line should be and do my best to try to cut a straight line with some fabric scissors. This project was so easy and so inexpensive and I think it might be my very favorite project today. It turned out so cute. Absolutely love it. So again, just cutting straight lines, measuring to size, trying to get the image, you know, sort of centered on there where nothing is really cut off. And I'm gonna try it out to see if it fits. 
and maybe that line's not so straight and then that looks pretty good. So basically all we have to do now is to attach the canvas to the back of the tray. So I'm going to do a really thick um, coat of Mod Podge on the back to glue down that canvas and get it spread out the best I can. Lay the canvas in there and smooth it out. And guys, that's it. That's all there is to this DIY. It turned out so stinking cute. I absolutely love it. Let me show you how it looks sitting on my shelves with the rest of the DIYs from today. Isn't it cute? I just put a couple seashells there in front and I absolutely love that DIY. Okay, up next we're gonna do a shell. So I found this little plastic shell dish from the Shore Living line at Dollar Tree. And then I'm gonna use one of those little wood round frames on the stand from the Crafter Square to make a stand for our shell. Basically, I want to make that shell look like a real shell. So I'm just gonna kinda pop out the picture of the frame and then um, just using a pair of pliers, I'm gonna pull out those little staple pieces. I don't really need those to be part of it. And guys, I'm gonna include one of these shells in the giveaway so that you can recreate this project yourself. So that's super exciting. I'm gonna use ivory chalk paint. The reason I'm kinda using chalk paint is because I really want it to stick well to the plastic and I want maximum coverage. So laying it down upside down like that, I'm just gonna go over with a brush and paint the whole thing ivory. I think it's kind of important to use a brush for this and not like foam because you wanna get down into all of those little ridges on the seashell. It has a great pattern on there. So I got one coat down and dried and now I'm just going over with a second coat to cover up any areas that you could still see the plastic through and making sure I have really good coverage on there. I'm only going to paint this side. The back is going to stay as is and that's how it looks when it's all ivory. Now to bring out all that beautiful texture and to make it more look real, we are going to use that Antique Wax by Waverly and a chunky brush and kind of working in the direction of the existing lines working in a little pattern like that and just distressing all over to bring out the texture and all of the designs on that shell. And this is the secret to definitely making it look real. So I'm gonna follow that up with a baby wipe to wipe off any of the areas that are a little too dark and to kind of blend that together. And kind of just keep working with it until I get it exactly the way that I like it. You have to be careful. I had two pretty good coats of ivory chalk paint down, but there were like a couple areas where I did kind of take off some of the paint. So I'm just gonna go in and touch those little areas up and then kind of distress it again, this time with the original color to bring out a little bit more variety there in the coloration on the shell. And it was so easy and look how pretty it turned out. It looks like a giant seashell, I love it. Now to make the stand, I wanted it to look like driftwood because we kind of did that with everything else. So I'm gonna mix, mix that ivory chalk paint with that um, Antique Wax by Waverly and get that same color. Now this is kind of gonna go all, in, all on one color because this is the raw wood. It's gonna soak all that paint in and there's no like that, you know, brown color behind it that was on the other ones. So once I painted that nice driftwood color, I'm gonna go in and Give that a quick dry. I'm not gonna worry about the ring part. That's not gonna be visible. Then I'm gonna use some more of the Antique Wax by Waverly and a chunky brush. And then I'm just gonna slightly distress all of that so that it looks like wood. So just kind of working in one direction and then following that up with a baby wipe to wipe off any excess and easy peasy. We have a little driftwood stand for our seashell. I think that turned out really cute and it was so easy. So now we just have to attach the two. So it looks like there's gonna be two points where we're gonna attach it. 
Um, along the base, right here, it's gonna touch the shell, and then along the top. When I glue that down on there, the base definitely connects with the base of the shell, but I was a little off on the ring, so I'm gonna add some more hot glue there to the top. And basically that's all there is to this DIY. And again, I'm including one of these shell dishes in the grand prize that you'll see later on in this video. And oh, I would love to see it if you make this yourself. Speaking of that, we have a Facebook group called Crafty Beach. I will post a link below. It's a place for you to show me what you're working on. I can show you what I'm working on. You can see what everybody else is working on. All the Crafty Beach fam. So come on over and join us on Facebook. We would love to have you. And I would love to see your own seashell. This is how it looks. Isn't it cute? I really love the simplicity of that one. Okay, another shore living find. So cute, it's very um, coastally wood. I did wanna give it a few touches. It says the sand in me has a whale on the top and a starfish there on the bottom. So for the whale, I'm just gonna simply use a paint pen in the color turquoise and I am just gonna kinda sloppily paint that. That way I won't have to go back and distress it. It's just gonna kinda look like just, it was painted blue at one time and was distressed at the beach. And I also found one of these for you guys. And this is also gonna be included in the prize towards the end of this video, my 5K prize. And so you'll be able to make one of these yourself. So super exciting, especially, I'm hoping that some of these things that are in the giveaway are things that you can't find at your store, so. I went shopping just for you guys. So I really like that kind of distressed look. Now I want the sand in me to stand out. So I'm gonna use a white paint pen. This is one of the Sharpie ones. I really love these paint pens. Um, I think I got this one at Target, but I think you can get them at Walmart as well or wherever they work really well. And basically, I'm just gonna kind of paint in between the lines. It's okay if you go outside the lines because the paint does kind of blend into the wood. And so it kind of, you can't really tell you go outside the lines. It just kind of blends in. And so we're gonna go over all of that. I have a plan to decorate the starfish, but I thought it would look better if it was white underneath what I'm gonna do with it. And you could totally leave it like this as well. The wood and the blue and the white all go so great together for the beach. And this is my plan, the little glass stickers from the Dollar Tree. And there is a starfish on there that is just the right size and it's even the right colors. And easy peasy, I'm just gonna pop that on there. Totally would be fine with paint, but if you have these, look how Perfect, that works on there. So cute. And we have another Shore Living Crafty Beach DIY done for you. So cute. And let me show you how it looks on my shelves. So cute. I love it. I love the little whale on top. Just my style. Okay, up next, I got one of these beach signs from the Shore Living um, this is the one that's beach and it's the brown wood. I also have one that says relax. I think they have one that says breathe. Some of them are white and some of them are wood. Now I'm gonna make a stain for this one because I want it to look like wood, but I want it to look like blue wood. And so I mixed up half um, Caribbean blue acrylic paint and half water. And I'm just using a little makeup sponge to um, blot all over. And that's gonna stain it blue, but you're gonna be able to see all that great wood grain underneath of it. It looks really weathered and beachy. The only problem is, is that it's so thin that it did kind of get like on the sides. And so the sides are more like a MDF. So the paint kind of just like, I put it on there and it like soaks right in. Doesn't really stain it like it does the others. But I'm just trying to add enough to make it look like I did them on purpose. <laughs> but I probably could have left it as is. 
because it's just super cute. I wanted a few little beachy touches. And so I'm gonna attach some of these little tiny starfish that I get on Amazon. I can post a link below for these. I love them. I need to get more because they're real starfish. And so I'm kind of the end of my little compartment there. They're starting to get to the little broken ones. But they're so cute and they're just a fun way to add another little beachy decal. I put one on the B and then I'm putting one on the H. And I thought that was enough fuss for this little beach sign. And this DIY is ready to go on my shelves. I filled up an entire bookcase with these DIYs today. And I love how they all look together. And I'm so excited that all the Dollar Trees are getting this line and not just us. Okay, the next DIY could not be easier. This is a Shore Living jar with the twine wrapped around it and a little starfish. And this is a little votive candle from the Dollar Tree as well. They have this in clear, turquoise, and blue, the, the little jar. I'm gonna use the clear one and I'm gonna fill it up with some Dollar Tree brown sand to look like the beach. And then I'm gonna bury my little votive candle down in there. It's a perfect base for the candle and I can totally burn this if I want to. Can't get any easier than that DIY, can ya? And the little starfish is so cute. And this is how it looks on my shelf. So easy. Okay, I also got this at the Dollar Tree, but this is not Chore Living. This is something they've kind of had lately. Um, they have it in blue and white and pink. So I got the blue one. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's ceramic and super glossy. I thought that could be a little distracting with what I'm pairing it with. And so to tone it down, I'm gonna just go all over with a coat of matte Mod Podge. So I go over the whole thing on one side and dry it with my heat gun, because I don't wanna mess that up. And then I flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. And this definitely did tone down the glossiness. It still has a little bit of shine. Um, I probably could have made it really mad if I would have done two coats, but I was happy with one coat. And this is how it turned out. Just took some of that shine away. And the color is perfect to go with these DIYs today. So we are gonna put it right here next to the sand and me sign. I think it's so cute. Okay, now this is a piece of coral that I already had. And so I thought I would add it to it. This is store-bought. And I'm gonna use one of those little risers from the Target Dollar Spot to put it up on. I thought this was just gonna go really well with all the DIYs we did today. But I was thinking, do you guys wanna learn how to make coral? I bet we could totally learn how to make coral together. So that sounds like another DIY video. What do you think? <laughs> and this is how I styled it next to that little candle. Okay, so these are the Wood Beep Garland from the Shore Living line. This is the one with the anchor on it. It's not quite long enough um, for what I wanna do. I wanna go across the top of the bookcase. And so I'm definitely gonna need at least two packages. I basically needed like one and a half. And so I'm gonna kinda count, there's five between each one and five at the end, except for one of mine had six on the end for some reason. So I'm just gonna cut that off there, tie that onto this end, easy peasy, no stringing or anything, we're gonna use all the existing line, cut off the excess string, and there we go, we have a longer one. So I think that's gonna be perfect. We can save the scraps for another DIY. And I think, how many anchors do I have? I have like little six anchors. Now this was the one that had like six on there instead of five, I don't know why. So I just took that off and then re-thread that through on that end. And it is perfect and ready to go. I thought we could like do a little splash of beachy blue. So I'm going in and painting um, one of the anchors with this turquoise paint pen. Once I got it all painted, I was like, you know, that was not really that easy to use a paint pen. Usually a paint pen makes things easier, but this was kind of making me work for it. So I was like, you know, 
probably like acrylic paint would work better and so I switched it up. I'm gonna use that Caribbean blue and just a tiny paintbrush. And that was way easier. Cause I was trying so hard not to get the paint on uh, the raw wood square beads. And you can see this way it was way faster and it was pretty easy to keep it off of the other beads. And so I'm gonna leave those the natural wood and make all of our little anchors this pretty Caribbean blue color. I really hope you're enjoying these DIYs. If you are, don't forget to like and comment below and stick around at the end of crafting today and you can find out how to enter the contest for all the shore living items that I'm giving away. So this is how it looks on the top of my shelf. Easy peasy and I kind of pair that with that little seahorse over on the side. And then I'm gonna use another starfish and just some seashells from the Dollar Tree just um, to kind of stage things. I'm gonna put the shells like in front of that little bird tray and then the starfish in front of the coral. It's just a couple little beachy things. Then I wanted to show you guys this. You guys, you know I was so excited that DollarTree.com was selling wood beads. And so I ordered a whole case. But I got them and they're not what I expected. So I wanted to show you exactly what I got. They're different than the wood beads they had this fall at the Dollar Tree. They're way shorter. So I'm gonna measure them here for you. They are 18 inches long, so way shorter. They're not on twine like they were before. They are on string. And surprise, half the box was these round wood balls but the other half was the uh, square like wood cubes, which are super cute too. And they're even bigger than the balls. Then I got to thinking about it. These definitely look different than the wood bead garland um, from the fall. So I went to try to find a little scrap piece that I had left over. And you can see they are way bigger. So shorter, but larger. <laughs> And some are square or cube shaped. And so it is what it is. Okay, it's time guys. This is going to be the prize for when I hit 5,000 subscribers. So I want to show you everything I bought for you guys. First, we have some of the Shore Living Starfish. I bought a giant padded um, envelope at the Dollar Tree and I saw how much stuff I could fit in there. So these are the Shore Living little seahorse, little clothespins, they're so cute. Some of this navy um, um, jute and also some regular rope because that is always necessary for your beachy DIYs. So one each of those, some of these little wood dolphins from the Shore Living line, super cute. Tried to do a lot of variety. Here is that seashell that we used earlier for our DIY so you can try to recreate your own, which is super fun. Up next is a relax, the beach fixes everything sign. Super cute. You really wouldn't have to do anything to that. It's ready to go. And then here is the sand and me sign that we used today for our DIY so you can make your own as well. So that was fun that I was able to find a couple things that we use today. This is a canvas that says surf, sun, and sand. Beautiful color, so cute. And then up next is one of these little galvanized metal signs. It's like a scroll and it has a little seahorse on there. So another fun shore living find for you guys. And this is one of their stencils from Sea to Shining Sea. I know these can be really hard to find, so I wanted to include that. This one's not short living, but look how beautiful these little gold transfers are. You can put all these little beachy items on whatever you want to DIY. And then I also got some of the shore living stickers, which are super cute. Now these are not shore living either, but there's a seahorse, a shell, and little sea turtles. And I thought those would be perfect for your coastal DIYs as well. 
I got one of these little cork tag signs with the coral on there. I love these. I got a bunch of these for myself as well. And now it's time to find out how to enter my 5K giveaway. It's so easy. All you have to do is like this video and then comment below 5K. That's going to enter you into a drawing. And hopefully this week, maybe if we're lucky, um, I can hit 5,000 subscribers. So if you know anybody that will like my channel, please Feel free to share with your friends and let's get to 5K. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to find out who wins and I will share here on my channel. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching and here is the final reveal. Sure, it's right in front of us if we just 